What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a very exciting Liverpool transfer news video because Jurgen Klopp is reportedly interested in bringing in Julian Draxler to Liverpool as a Philip Coutinho replacement. Now that the Fakir transfer at the moment is off, even though Liverpool could come in back for Fakir after the World Cup, we shall wait and see, I will keep you posted on that one. Liverpool are looking at other options, let me know guys who should be the player that we sign if we can't sign Nabil Fakir, let me know in the comments below and of course leave a like on this video if you enjoy these transfer news videos and I'm working on a brand new Liverpool career mode episode which will be out tomorrow morning so stay tuned for that and subscribe with post notifications on so you don't miss a future video and I will run through you guys about Julian Draxler so in this video you will hear everything that you need to know about this 26 year old very exciting winger attacking midfielder who is going to the World Cup with Germany so you can scout him if you watch the Germany games at the World Cup but Draxler possesses fantastic technical ability he can score goals he can create goals he can dribble past players exactly what Liverpool need and he is not a first choice at Paris Saint-Germain, so he is looking for a transfer. He, sorry, I was wrong. He's 24 years old, not 26. He's 187 centimeters tall. And, uh, you know, he started off his career at Schalke, then he went to Wolfsburg, and then Paris Saint-Germain signed him for big money, big money, but he didn't play an incredible amount of games uh, for Paris Saint-Germain, but he actually played a lot more than last season. At, at Paris Saint-Germain, he only played 29 league games, but he actually played 70 league games in the previous season. So Draxler scored, it's, it's so weird, because in the first season at Paris Saint-Germain, he scored 10 goals in 25 games, and then this season that just finished, he only scored 5 goals but in 46 appearances and uh, he played a lot of games in the French Cup, in the League Cup and in the Champions League as well so that's how do, do, that number comes about and uh, some of those appearances of course have been as a substitute so uh, Jurgen Klopp is definitely looking to bring in a number 10 a replacement for Coutinho who can play as a creative midfielder who can play uh, on a uh, any number of the attacking positions and I think it's vital that Liverpool bring in another body towards that attacking line because we just cannot rely on Mane, Firmino and Salah some of them get, might get injured, we might need to rotate sometimes and uh, Liverpool will only be, you know, that our highest ambition will only be the Champions League and just to reach the Champions League reach the top four if we don't sign a good enough replacements or good enough backup players and as I already told you guys uh, Draxler uh, slipped down the packing order at Paris Saint-Germain and I'm really really excited about this news because uh, you know Draxler is a very very good player he's maybe not at the level of somebody like uh, Salah Mane or even Firmino but he's only 24 years old that means Draxler is getting to the peak years of his career and if there is a manager who can improve any player and Draxler is a uh, of course German just like Jurgen Klopp so I think they will see eye to eye and I think Jurgen Klopp can get the best out of Draxler and he can elevate his performance and I think Draxler can be a very very useful player either as a starter or as a substitute but I think he can play in a number of positions in the Liverpool team and how we should line up in my opinion is that we should put Henderson in midfield and rotate him with Fabinho and then either side of Henderson we could have Naby Keita and Draxler and Draxler could play as an attacking midfielder um, and Naby Keita and, uh, and or either Henderson or Fabinho will be responsible mostly for the defense or for the defending and uh, covering for the back four and then of course Draxler can drop into any position across the front line he can play on the right he can play on the left or through the middle even as a false nine just like Firmino of course he doesn't have the work ethic of Firmino uh, but he is actually a very very good uh, useful player in my opinion and he wouldn't command like a crazy crazy transfer fee for Liverpool in my opinion Draxler would cost somewhere between 30 and 50 million pounds in my opinion but and Paris Saint-Germain 
might want to, you know, sell Droxler. Financial fair play. This is the reason why Paris Saint-Germain need to sell some players. They need to sell either Droxler or somebody else because, uh, you know, they signed both Mbappe and Neymar for crazy amount of money and uh, Paris Saint-Germain need to raise 75 million euros, which is 66 million pounds by June 2018, according to EFCN. FC's Jonathan Don Johnson, who is a journalist, and he said Le Keep report that UEFA have found nothing wrong with Paris Saint-Germain's purchases of Neymar and Mbappé last summer. However, that does not mean that Paris Saint-Germain's financial fair play concerns are over. Around 75 million euros need to be raised and their state of account must convince to, to so which means that Paris Saint-Germain need to sell some players and of course they won't sell their starter players somebody like Cavani or Neymar or Mbappe when they just sign them they will sell players who are not a regular starter they already sold a Lucas to Tottenham in January so this further indicates that Paris Saint-Germain need to generate some funds and I think I think we could get Droxler uh, for around 30, maybe 40 million pounds. I don't think he's worth as much as Fakir because Fakir, frankly, put up bigger numbers in terms of goals and assists. Remember that Fakir scored something like 23 goals and got 9 assists. On the other hand, Droxler scored only 5 goals all season. So he's not as much of a goal machine. And I, I'm certainly, I would have loved to see Fakir join Liverpool, but we shall move on. Football and the world of football doesn't stand still. It's always in, in motion. And I'm sure that Jurgen Klopp doesn't do well on the fact that we couldn't sign Nabil Fakir. He will, he will swiftly move on to other targets and we will try to strengthen with other players and that's what we as Liverpool fans should do as well. Droxler certainly not as good as Nabi Fakir, let me just be clear on that. Droxler certainly is not on the level of Fakir, but he wouldn't cost as much as well. And if we can get two players uh, like Shakiri and Droxler or, or somebody like Thomas Lamar, I'm still a fan of him even though he didn't have as good a season as, uh, as the season before the last season that just finished or I would, I would certainly love to see somebody like Christian Pulisic even though he also didn't have the best of seasons just like Thomas Lamar or Marco Asensio even from Real Madrid so there are a lot of names, a lot of possible alternatives to somebody like Nabil Fakir. Of course, Nabil Fakir would have been just perfect for Jurgen Klopp's and Liverpool's playing style, the counter-pressing, the high tempo, and he's a really fearless player. But Draxler has a lot of experience. For a 24-year-old player, to actually play the, a lot of full seasons at Bundesliga. Droxler is definitely a player who doesn't want to sit on the bench too many times. And yes, he played more games for Paris Saint-Germain than in his first season there. But I think at Liverpool he could be a regular starter and I think Liverpool are a much more attractive proposition. Remember that we were linked with Droxler when he signed for Paris Saint-Germain when he transferred from Wolfsburg to Paris Saint-Germain, we were linked with Draxler. He chose Paris Saint-Germain back then because Liverpool were nowhere near the level that they are right now. We weren't even in the Champions League. So I think it's completely understandable that Draxler didn't choose us because we were finishing in 5th or 6th or even 7th place in the Premier League. I think they became in 8th place and lost the Europa League final. Uh, just before you know Draxler moved to Wolfsburg so I could completely understand his decision but now Liverpool actually qualified for the Champions League two seasons in a row we made it to the Champions League final and we are now one of the most exciting teams in Europe and also Draxler it's a very important to know this he has a Champions League experience and he has a lot of international experience he actually played 44 games for Germany he's a regular for the German team, usually starts or comes on as a substitute for Germany. He scored six goals uh, for Germany in 44 appearances, which is not an awful lot. But to play for the World Cup champions, the World Champions Germany, you know, just really good players get in their squad. So I, I think that Droxler has the experience of a guy who is 27, 28, 29 years old and he's only 24. He started his career very early in 2010. We have an incredible 
already an incredible squad and let's just not get too down about this Nabi Fakir transfer because we still have Fabinho and Nabi Keita joining Liverpool. Nabi Keita will officially join on the 1st of July. I'm really looking forward to seeing Liverpool next season. Whatever the rest of the transfer window will throw about. So let me know guys, what do you think about Julian Draxler? Would he be a good enough player to play for Liverpool? I certainly think so. And I think Jurgen Klopp can even elevate him into a player who can even score more goals, get more assists and remember that Liverpool are one of the highest scoring teams in the world football so I'm sure that Roxler would get a lot of goals or even a lot of assists if he was to play Liverpool for Liverpool week in week out and we need a bigger squad, a much better squad to compete. I want Liverpool to compete in all competitions next season, not just the Premier League and the Champions League, but I want Liverpool to go deep into the League Cup or the FA Cup and potentially win one of those competitions. We need a trophy badly, so this, this is why I think the German the winger like Draxler would be very useful. So let me know what do you think about this and I hope you enjoyed this video. Le leave a like if you did. See you later guys! Goodbye!